All right, so let's take care about that minute pointer. Um, first of all, let me hide the rest of uh, the geometry here in that scene. So hide layer one, hide layer two, and in between I put uh, the seconds pointer on layer two as well. Um, okay, so let's go to the top view. And if you take a look at this, um, so I'm talking about um, this thing here, this uh, square type of thing that tapers down to the end here. Um, and it also has some kind of cylindrical shape here um, in the middle. So in this time I really want to connect that uh, cylindrical shape to that um, yeah, box type of shape here. Alright, so now let's uh, create uh, at first a polygon plane. That sounds weird, but um, trust me, that works. Um, let's go to the inputs here and set uh, the width to 5 the subdivisions on the, on the width to 5 as well and subdivisions height uh, 1 and then let's uh, rotate that guy negative 90 degrees in X alright so with that done um, what we can do is we can move this guy up a little bit so with that done let's go in here and uh, select an edge right click Entering utilities and split, and then we delete all of those faces here. So we take care about only uh, at one half of this guy. So select this edge and this edge, and then say extrude. Extrude that up like that. Maybe not that high. Somewhere about here. So later on we can tweak this just uh, to get the rough shape, and. Uh, like I said before, <laughs> you will have the idea in a second what I'm doing here. So now we take uh, that all the faces, zoom out, and then we're going to extrude those like that. And now with that, we can say, okay, go to object mode, go to the top view, um, and let's scale this guy down. Overall, scale it down, down, down. Now let's rotate that guy to somewhere it fits with the background image. So I'm taking care about the tapering. Uh, so it starts uh, large here and it tapers down to the end. So uh, that's what we're uh, going to do later. So first of all, I, I try to have the size or the width um, of, of this thing here. Oh, let me take some words here. And again, too much talking. <laughs> so go to object mode. Let me turn on um, X-ray mode. And then let's scale it down even a little bit more. Take those words here, move those to the end. Yeah, there you go. Scale it down a little bit more. Take the words here move them to the end and now yeah we um, like I said we take care about the that last piece here um, in, a, in a minute or maybe in the next video um, so now with the basic shape done we can go in here and uh, delete that inside face so we don't need that and now let's create a cylinder like that go to the top view and let's uh, size this one, um, yeah, that it matches up with the background image. Somewhere about here. Okay, so you guys scale it up just a tiny bit. <coughs> now we uh, scale this in Y down, move this guy up, and. Uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning of that video here, um, I really want to connect this uh, to the the box shape. I don't want to intersect that. I want a nice transition between uh, those two objects. So let's uh, take that minute box shape here and let's uh, rotate that back to zero and Y. Now let's figure out um, how many subdivisions we need on that uh, cylinder. So I want uh, 
the subdivision axis. Um, to click on that and middle mouse. So I think I'm going with the 28 at this point. Maybe l let me try to lower that down. Could work even, even better. Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen works fine. All right, so let's let's go with seventeen subdivisions on the axis. And um, now we want to connect that. Okay, so to do this, um, first of all, we have to change um, that uh, cylindrical shape there. So let's go in and. Um, Let's take that um, tool so that the icon changed a little bit from uh, Maya 2010 or earlier versions to this one. So we're using the split polygon tool and it should be uh, by default on, on that polygon shelf. So go from this point up to this point here, hit enter. And we do the same on the bottom side from this point here to this one, hit enter. And now what we are doing is uh, we are deleting all the faces that we don't need, all of those, and delete those. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, I have to admit um, in the end, I mean, I'm not too picky with that uh, at this point. So we have a tri uh, triangle here and yeah, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> so hope you forgive me for that, but it works. And a wise man taught me one day, if it looks good, it is good. Hope that guy is not watching this video right now. Um, okay, so we have um, that done. So now we have to uh, put in some. Um, we have to put in some edge loops on that box type of shape. So let me move. Oop, not move the words. Let me move that guy out of the way for a minute. Okay, so now let's go in and take our lovely split selected edge ring tool and set a split here and I'm moving it uh, uh, in, in, in Z and then V middle mouse over this point here and I'm adding another one so I think you get the idea. So moving this in Z as well and then V middle mouse over this vertex here. And again, I need one here. Snap it to this vertex here. Do one. Move that guy. Snap it to here. Move this guy. Snap it to here. And we need two, two more. Move that, snap it, move it, snap it. So with that, um, we can go in and say we, we can delete those faces here. Okay, that's it, delete those. And with those <laughs> deleted, let's select uh, that object here and uh, bring it back to somewhere that it fits on the box shape. Um, let me move the pivot, D, hold down D, move it in X and then V snap over the border edge or one of vertex on the border edge. And then I move that guy in X and then V snap to that point. So now we have vertices um, that are on top of each other and now we go in and say we select both objects, combine those, select those vertices here and say merge. Okay, so we missed one thing, um, but I'm getting the to the 10 minutes limit here again. So yeah, we finish that up in the next video. All right.